today we're going to make a strip pot holder. For this project, you will need fabric strips, one to three inches wide in varying lengths, a nine by nine inch piece of muslin fabric for the foundation, two pieces of cotton batting, nine inches by nine inches. There's also a product called Insel Bright for high heat uses. You can use that instead of the cotton batting if you prefer. You'll need an 11 inch by 11 inch piece of backing fabric, and then a glue stick if you want, or some pins. First, you're gonna fold the muslin in half diagonally and press it. This will be the foundation for the block. Then we're gonna make a little sandwich. Place the backing right side facing down, center the batting on top, and then place the muslin on top of that. Keeping the stack together, center one of your fabric strips right side up over the muslin's pressed line. Use a glue stick to temporarily secure it. You can also pin it if you'd rather. Stitch down the length of both sides of the strip using an eighth of an inch seam allowance. Place a second strip over the first strip, right sides together, matching right edges. Stitch along the edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. Press open. Continue sewing strips. Right sides together, matching right edges, quarter inch seam allowance, glue stick or pins, until you reach the corner. Follow the same process for the other half of the foundation, then press all of that. When the foundation is completely covered with strips, move the backing fabric out of the way and trim the front strips to match the batting and foundation size. When that's trimmed, go ahead and open the backing back up. We'll use this excess for the binding. Fold the backing over half an inch, press. Fold it over one more time so the backing becomes the binding on the front. Press it, pin it, then go ahead and top stitch the binding to the front of the potholder. Lots of strips are going to give you lots of potholders.